I'm Neil Ingalls, and this is my wife, Judy. But I found her in a chair, and her head was to, one, to the right side, and her eyes were closed. I, I said, honey, are you asleep? And she didn't respond. And so I kind of shook her a little bit and said, honey, are you, as are you asleep? Nothing. And so I came around in front and I actually put my hands on both sides of her cheek and said, said, honey, can you open your eyes for me? And she opened her eyes just barely. And I said, smile, can you smile for me? And she smiled and this part of her smile was drooping. So I grabbed the phone and uh, called 911 and just simply said the word stroke. And then I said, my wife's having a stroke. They knew exactly what to do and when to do it as fast as humanly possible. They didn't put her in a bed, they took her right to the CT scanner. And then they came to me and asked me, would it be okay if he did a, a catheterization? And I said, of course. And so he put a line up through a femoral artery and up into her brain. I think it was probably in a half hour uh, and said that he had run the, this thing up, this catheter, a pipe, a little tube up and put a, put a vacuum on it and sucked the clot right out of, of the brain. And when they did that, she, the, all the signs were relieved. And then I woke up right away. I knew I'd had a stroke, you know, they told me, and I heard him and I knew it. And I remember being relieved because I remember thinking, I can think. And so from that moment on, we, we were just amazed. By jumping on it this fast with this smooth a system, uh, she didn't lose any function. The trick is to get to it as quickly as possible and recognize the signs. I can still, you know, walk up and down stairs and oh, yeah. all kinds of things. I can, you know, I can do almost anything for myself. So I was blessed. That's for sure. <laughs> I really was. <laughs>